Here are the secrets Marie Antoinette kept hidden. Back in the 1700s, when France was on the brink of revolution, the queen's life was a web of intrigue. She wasn't just the monarch. She was a woman with dangerous desires. Ready to uncover the scandalous affairs that rocked the kingdom? Chapter 1. The Queen's Secret Rendezvous. You find yourself drawn into the shadows of the opulent palace of Versailles, where the air is thick with the scent of treachery and forbidden desires. Late at night, under the cover of darkness, Marie Antoinette would sneak away from her royal chambers, her heart pounding like a death march drum. Her destination? A secluded garden, hidden from prying eyes, where passion bloomed amidst the nightshade and poison ivy. The queen's lover, Count Axel von Fersen, would await her, his presence as intoxicating as a glass of absinthe. Their meetings were shrouded in secrecy, a dangerous dance on the edge of a guillotine blade. Can you imagine the thrill of such clandestine encounters, knowing that discovery meant certain doom? The palace guards were often bribed, their silence bought with the queen's jewels and whispered promises. The forbidden lovers communicated through coded letters, each word dripping with peril and longing. A wrong move, a careless word, and it could all come crashing down like a house of cards in a storm. As their affair intensified, so did the risk, each meeting becoming a game of Russian roulette with a loaded musket. The Queen's closest confidants were in on the secret, a tight-knit circle bound by loyalty and a shared taste for danger. The walls of Versailles had ears, and rumors of the affair spread like wildfire through the court. You can almost hear the whispers, can't you? The scandal, the betrayal, the inevitable downfall. Count Fersen was no ordinary lover. He was a Swedish diplomat with a penchant for risk and a flair for the dramatic. Their passion was a ticking time bomb, and each stolen kiss brought them closer to the brink of disaster. You might wonder how they managed to keep their affair hidden for so long. The answer? Sheer audacity and a bit of luck. The Queen's ladies-in-waiting played their parts flawlessly, covering for her absences and deflecting suspicion. Their love letters, when intercepted, were cleverly disguised as innocuous correspondence about politics and fashion. The thrill of the forbidden made their affair all the more intoxicating, a heady mix of lust and fear. You can't help but admire their audacity, even as you shudder at the thought of the consequences. As the revolution loomed, their meetings became more desperate, their love a defiant stand against the encroaching chaos. The Queen's husband, King Louis XVI, was oblivious, his focus on the crumbling monarchy, rather than his wife's escapades. You can almost feel the tension, the ever-present threat of exposure hanging over them like a guillotine blade. Each encounter was a fleeting moment of bliss amidst a sea of uncertainty and dread. The garden became their sanctuary, a place where they could escape the world and lose themselves in each other. Yet, even in their private Eden, they were not safe from the serpents of court intrigue and betrayal. The revolutionaries were closing in, and the walls of Versailles felt more like a prison with each passing day. You have to wonder, was it worth it? The risk, the danger, the constant fear of discovery. Their love was a flame burning brightly in the darkness, but every flame eventually burns out. As the revolution reached its peak, the queen and her lover faced the ultimate test of their devotion. Chapter 2. The Price of Passion. You are transported to the chaotic streets of Paris, where the storm of revolution brews with a fury that chills the bone. The public's anger towards Marie Antoinette wasn't just about her lavish lifestyle. It was fueled by whispers of her infidelity. Madame Deficit, they called her, blaming her for France's financial ruin while she played her dangerous games. As the revolutionaries gained power, the Queen's secret affair became fodder for their propaganda. They depicted her as a harlot, a woman who betrayed her king and country for the sake of passion. Can you feel the crowd's rage, the collective heartbeat of a nation betrayed? The pamphlets and caricatures were brutal, showing Marie in compromising positions with various lovers. Her affair with Count Fersen was the worst kept secret, and it only added fuel to the revolutionary fire. You can almost hear the angry mobs, their chants echoing through the streets like the tolling of a death knell. 
The queen's enemies used her affair to justify their calls for her execution, painting her as the epitome of corruption. Marie Antoinette's image was torn to shreds, her reputation forever tainted by scandal and deceit. The revolutionaries relished in her downfall, their thirst for vengeance insatiable. You might wonder if the queen ever regretted her actions, if she ever felt the sting of guilt. In her final days, imprisoned and awaiting her fate, did she think of Count Fersen and their forbidden love? Can you imagine the fear, the overwhelming dread that must have gripped her as she faced her execution? Her affair, once a thrilling escape, had become a death sentence. The revolutionaries reveled in her demise, seeing it as a victory over the old regime. Her execution was a spectacle, a gruesome display of the New Order's power. You can almost see the blade descending, the final act in a tragic tale of love and betrayal. As the queen's head fell, the crowd roared, their thirst for blood momentarily sated. Her affair with Count Fersen was over, a tragic love story ending in a pool of blood. But the memory of their forbidden love lingered, a haunting reminder of the perils of passion. You have to ask yourself, was it worth it? The love, the risk, the ultimate price? The Queen's affair was a fatal flaw, a human weakness that led to her downfall. Count Fersen survived the revolution, but he was forever haunted by the memory of Marie Antoinette. Their love was a beautiful tragedy, a doomed romance that history would never forget. The revolutionaries may have won, but the story of Marie and her lover lived on, a cautionary tale of forbidden desire. You can't help but feel a shiver down your spine, knowing how close they came to escaping their fate. Chapter 3 The Secrets in the Letters Imagine, if you will, the thrill of holding a secret letter, knowing that within its folds lies the power to destroy a queen. Marie Antoinette and Count Fersen's affair was immortalized in their passionate correspondence. Each letter was a ticking time bomb, a piece of evidence that could bring down an entire monarchy. You can almost feel the weight of the secrets contained within those yellowed pages. The lovers wrote in code, a desperate attempt to conceal their forbidden desires. But even the best codes can be broken, and the revolutionaries were nothing if not resourceful. You might wonder how many sleepless nights they spent crafting their messages, knowing the risk they were taking. The letters were hidden in the most unlikely of places, from hollowed out books to the false bottoms of jewelry boxes. Each missive was a lifeline, a way for the lovers to stay connected amidst the chaos. Can you imagine the anticipation, the fear, as they awaited each reply? The letters were filled with longing, passion, and a chilling sense of impending doom. You can almost hear the crackle of the parchment, the scratching of the quill, as they poured their hearts out. Their words were a defiant stand against the forces that sought to tear them apart. The Queen's handwriting, once elegant and steady, grew more frantic as the revolution closed in. Count Fersen's letters were equally desperate, filled with plans for escape and promises of undying love. The correspondence was a testament to their unwavering devotion, even in the face of certain death. You might wonder how they found the courage to continue their affair, knowing the stakes. Each word was a lifeline, a way to keep the flames of their love burning amidst the darkness. Can you feel the tension, the ever-present threat of discovery lurking in the shadows? The revolutionaries eventually intercepted some of the letters, using them as evidence against the Queen. The public was scandalized, their anger fueled by the intimate details revealed in the correspondence. Marie Antoinette's reputation was further tarnished, her fate sealed by her own hand. The letters were a double-edged sword, a source of comfort and a tool of her enemies. You can almost see the revolutionaries poring over the letters, searching for any incriminating detail. The Queen's confidants tried to destroy the letters, but many survived, preserved as damning evidence. 
The letters were a chilling reminder of the risks the lovers took, their passion a dangerous game. As the revolution reached its peak, the letters became a symbol of the old regime's decadence and corruption. You have to wonder, did they ever regret writing those letters or were they a necessary outlet for their love? Chapter four, the betrayal within. Imagine the paranoia, the constant fear of betrayal lurking around every corner. The queen's affair was not just a secret from her husband, but from many within her inner circle. But secrets have a way of coming to light, especially in a court as treacherous as Versailles. You can almost see the looks of suspicion, the whispered conversations behind closed doors. The queen's enemies were everywhere, eager to use her affair to bring her down. Some of her closest allies turned against her, lured by promises of power and safety. Can you feel the tension, the ever-present threat of betrayal looming over her every move? The queen's ladies-in-waiting were often the first to be bribed, their loyalty swayed by gold and threats. Even the palace guards, once trusted protectors, could not be relied upon. You can almost hear the plotting, the secret meetings held in the dead of night. The revolutionaries had their spies, always watching, always waiting for the perfect moment to strike. The queen's affair was a ticking time bomb and any one of her confidants could set it off. Imagine the dread, the constant anxiety of knowing that betrayal could come from anyone. The queen's trust was a fragile thing, easily shattered by the whispers of treachery. Even her lover, Count Fersen, was not immune to suspicion, his every move scrutinized by both friend and foe. You might wonder how they managed to keep their affair alive amidst such danger. The answer lies in their unwavering trust in each other, a bond that defied the chaos around them. But trust can be a double-edged sword, and the queen's reliance on her confidants would be her undoing. The betrayal came from within, a trusted ally who sold her secrets to the highest bidder. Can you imagine the shock, the heartbreak of realizing that your closest friend was your greatest enemy? The queen's world crumbled around her, the walls of Versailles closing in like a death trap. Her affair, once a thrilling escape, had become a noose around her neck. The revolutionaries used the betrayal to their advantage, painting the queen as a symbol of corruption. You can almost see the smirks on their faces, the satisfaction of knowing they had her cornered. The betrayal was the final nail in the coffin, sealing the queen's fate. The court of Versailles was a viper's nest, and the queen was its most high-profile victim. You might wonder if she ever saw it coming, the treachery that would lead to her downfall. In her final moments, did she think of the betrayal, or was her mind solely on her lost love? The betrayal was a chilling reminder of the dangers of trust in a world ruled by deceit. You can almost feel the queen's despair, the crushing realization that she had been undone by those she trusted most. Chapter five, the final days. Imagine the despair, the sense of impending doom that hung over Marie Antoinette in her final days. The queen, once the epitome of grace and power, was now a prisoner awaiting her fate. The revolutionaries had won, and they were determined to make an example of her. You can almost feel the cold stone walls of her cell, the damp air filled with the scent of decay. Her affair with Count Fersen was a distant memory, overshadowed by the horrors of the revolution. But even in her darkest moments, the queen clung to the memory of her forbidden love. Can you imagine the heartbreak? the crushing weight of knowing that her affair had led to her downfall. The queen's final days were filled with despair, but also a sense of defiance. She faced her captors with a steely resolve, determined to meet her fate with dignity. You might wonder if she ever thought of escaping, of finding a way to reunite with her lover. But there was no escape, no way to turn back the clock and undo her mistakes. The revolutionaries made sure of that, their grip on power as unyielding as the guillotine's blade. 
You can almost hear the jeers of the crowd, their bloodlust palpable as they awaited her execution. The queen's final moments were a tragic culmination of a life filled with passion and danger. She walked to the guillotine with her head held high, a defiant queen to the very end. Can you feel the tension, the charged atmosphere as the crowd held its breath? The blade fell, and with it, the last vestiges of the old regime. The queen's affair was a footnote in the annals of history, a tragic love story overshadowed by revolution. But for Marie Antoinette, it was everything a forbidden passion that defined her life and sealed her fate. Her affair with Count Fersen was a beautiful tragedy, a love that defied the odds and paid the ultimate price. The revolutionaries may have won, but the memory of Marie and her lover lived on. The final days of Marie Antoinette were a testament to her strength, her defiance in the face of certain death. Even in her darkest moments, she remained a queen, a symbol of resilience and passion. Her affair with Count Fersen was a tragic love story, a beautiful flame that burned too brightly and was extinguished too soon. In the end, Marie Antoinette's life was defined by passion and betrayal, a chilling tale of love and loss that history would never forget. And that's it from this video. See you in the next one.